Hi everyone! It's me again, Teacher Joanne from Math Room. Another episode in Business Mathematics for ABM students will be covered in this video. And the topic is all about the types of proportions. For this lesson, our learning objectives are the following. First, you should be able to identify the different types of proportion and give examples for each. And second, be able to solve problems involving direct, inverse, and partitive proportion. And to achieve these learning objectives, take note to answer the essential questions. How would you differentiate direct, inverse, and partitive proportion from one another? And what are the uses of these types of proportions in business? What are the different types of proportions? We have direct, inverse, and partitive proportions. Now, let us first check what you know about proportion. Identify the relationship exists in each situation, either direct, inverse, or partitive. You may pause the video so you can answer these items. Let us answer now. Item number one, this is an example of direct proportion. Number two, it is partitive proportion. And number three, it is an inverse proportion. Now, let us discuss each type of proportion, beginning with the direct. So in baking pandesal, two cups of flour is to one egg. And when increased, four cups of flour is to two eggs. This is an example of direct proportion because when we say direct proportion, the ratios of two quantities being compared is constant, and when one quantity increases or decreases, so does the other quantity. As you can see in symbols, in writing the direct proportion, we have x sub 1 is to y sub 1 is equal to x sub 2 is to y sub 2. And to solve for the value of the missing term in this proportion, we just have to equate the product of the extremes, x sub 1 and y sub 2, with the product of the means, y sub 1 and x sub 2. Another example here, if you buy 2 kilograms of rice at 5 katarials, then you expect to pay 10 katarials for 4 kilograms of rice. As you can see in this example, if the number of kilograms of rice increases, so does the price of the rice. Let us have an example. 4 oranges weigh as much as 7 lemons. At this rate, how many lemons will weigh as much as 36 oranges? First, let us use variables to represent the given. So let x be the oranges and y be the lemons. So the first ratio here, 4 oranges is to 7 lemons. And the second one is, we're looking for the number of lemons, so that is represented by y. And the given is the number of oranges, which is 36. So we have your oranges to lemons is to oranges to lemons as well. Now, to solve for the value of y in direct proportion, we have to get the product of the extremes. So 4 times y is 4y is equal to the product of the means. 7 times 36 is equal to 252. Divide both sides by 4. The value of y is 63. So it means to say that 36 oranges is to 63 lemons. Next proportion, a painter can finish painting the roof for 3 hours, while two painters can finish it for 1.5 hours. This example is an inverse proportion. When we say inverse proportion, the product of two quantities being compared is constant. When one quantity increases, the other quantity decreases, or the vice versa. So in short, it's the opposite. So to do this, we have to multiply the values of the first ratio is equal to the product of the second ratio. Another example here, if 10 men can build a kubo for 5 days, 5 men can build it for 10 days. So it means to say that for the number of workers and days, the more workers, the lesser the time it takes to finish a job. So it's really an example of inverse proportion. 
A water delivery supplies water in Mahinahon Village. Suppose it takes 4 pipes to fill a water tank for 50 minutes. How long will it take to fill the tank if 5 pipes are used? So here, we have the two values, x for the number of pipes, and let y be the time, the time to fill up the tank. Now, for x, we have 4 pipes is to 50 minutes is equal to the number of pipes on the second ratio, we have 5 pipes, is to y, since we're looking for the time. Now, in order for us to solve for this, we need to get the product of the first ratio, so 4 times 50 is equal to 5 times y. So we have here 200 is equal to 5y. Divide both sides by 5. The answer is 40. So it means to say that it will take 40 minutes to fill up the tank using 5 pipes. Let us have the last proportion. Three partners of an online business with a net profit of 10,000 decided to have a profit sharing in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3. This is an example of partitive proportion. In this proportion, the quantity is divided into two or more parts based on the given fixed ratio of these parts. And to solve for this, we have to equate the sum of the parts to the whole quantity. To understand this better, let us have an example problem. Three best friends, namely Anna, Lorna, and Fe, decided to invest an amount of 405000 in a swimsuit retailing business in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 4 respectively. How much was the investment made by each? As we can see in this problem, the 405,000 has to be divided to the 3 best friends in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 4. And to do this, let x be the amount of each part. Next, let us represent the contribution made by each. So for Anna, it says here in the ratio of 2, so 2 times x, that's Anna's investment. And then for Lorna, times that is 3x. And for Fe, we have 4x. Now, the sum of these amounts is equal to the total amount of investment, and here the total amount is 405,000. So we have 2x plus 3x plus 4x is equal to 405,000. So adding these three values, we have 9x is equal to 405,000. Divide both sides by 9, we have a value of x equal to 45,000. Now, since we already know the amount of each part, we can now identify how much is the investment of each one. So for Anna, that is 2 times 45,000. So Anna's investment is 90,000. For Lorna's investment, that is 3 times 45,000. So her investment is 135,000. And lastly, for Fe's investment, that is 4 times 45,000. This is equal to 180,000. After discussing the three types of proportion, it is now time to do a practice exercises. Kindly pause the video so you could try to answer this item. Let's check your answer. Ron will receive 500,000. Did you get it right? If yes, great job. Next item. Here the answer is, Sally will earn 1,890 if she works for 36 hours. What are the key takeaways? Take note that each type of proportion has its own unique application. 
Learn first to identify the type of the proportion that a problem has before proceeding to solving the proportion problem. Here are the three types of proportion. We have direct proportion, as one value increases or decreases, so does the other. And to solve for this, we just have to get the product of the extremes is equal to the product of the means. For indirect or inverse proportion, as one value increases, the other decreases. And to solve for this, we have to get the product of the two ratios and then equate them. And for partitive proportion, identifying parts of a whole based on a given ratio. And to solve for partitive proportion, equate the sum of the parts to the whole quantity. So here's the end of our discussion. Thanks for watching. I hope you understood well the discussion on the types of proportions. Please do not forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share this to others. Bye everyone! See you in our next video.